think the sign is still on for Sunday? Or are you considering not putting it on? No, they're on. This one is there. We've taken in millions and millions of dollars from those tariffs. And as it's starting to come out, the if you look at Chinese government, China, what they've done with tariffs is very interesting. They've devalued their currency so much, which hurts them ultimately, costs them much more to buy things outside of China. But they've devalued so much, it's a bad situation they put themselves in. And I just saw it came over the wires that 13 percent of certain companies are going to be leaving China in the not too distant future. That's a big thing. 13 percent of companies will be leaving China in the fairly uh, near future. And I'm not surprised to hear that. I think it's going to be much higher because they cannot compete with the tariffs. They can't compete. So they devalued their currency. They're pumping money in. And we're not paying much more. Now, let me tell you, we've taken in tens of billions of dollars. Uh, I gave the farmers $16 billion, which makes them totally whole on China. That's what China spends in a good year. I've gave, given the farm because they were targeted. The farmers were targeted by China. So out of the tariffs, which are much more than $16 billion by a factor of a lot, uh, I've given the farmers $16 billion, and the farmers are very happy, and they want me to continue this fight. They want me to win the fight, and we're going to win the fight. Uh, we're having conversations with China. Uh, meetings are scheduled. Calls are being made. I guess the meeting in September is, continues to be on. It hasn't been canceled, and we'll see what happens. But China's lost a lot of companies. A lot of com wait. A lot of companies have left China. And a lot more are leaving, and uh, they are not doing well. They're having the worst year they've had, I understand, in 61 years. That's a lot of years. Yeah, go ahead. 